Hey, Seth David here from the world-famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. This time, I'm going to show you how to get started using ClickUp for accountants and bookkeepers. Now, if you're catching this video early enough, then this video is meant to serve as your homework for the upcoming series that's starting as of this recording, Friday, February 5th, 2021, on a course in ClickUp. So I'm going to make the assumption that you've all watched this video so that when I start the series, I can kind of pick up where this video leaves off. So if you're registered for the series, then make sure you pay attention and follow along and get at least as far as this, setting up your own ClickUp workspace. If you happen to be catching this later on, then this video will serve as your intro video to the course, which you'll be just taking and following along. So no big deal, no harm, no foul. Let's take a look at my screen and let's see how we're going to get started setting up QuickBooks, QuickBooks, <laughs> setting up ClickUp for accountants and bookkeepers. So here I am on a screen, brand new account, brand new day, right? I'm going to click right here and enter an email address to get started. So Seth at SethDavid.com and we're going to click get started. Okay, and full name is Seth David. It's got my email. All right, I'm going to use LastPass to generate a new password. I already have one for my Nerd Enterprises, of course, right? So we're going to generate a secure password. I'll choose Fill Password. And for LastPass purposes, I'm going to say Add It. All right, so now I'll have two. And I'll go back into LastPass later and clear it up which one is which. Okay, so now it emailed me a special passcode. So let's go get that. I'm going to click Open a New Tab. And we're going to get that email from ClickUp. There it is, 403L, 403L. Oops, number lock. I swear my computer randomly turns number lock on and off. I never turn it off. All right, so it says, welcome our mission to make you more productive. Blah, blah, blah. Let's do it. Let's do it, right? So Seth David's firm, we'll call it, right? And I mentioned this in the write-up. The firm, the workspace, you only need one workspace. Unless you're Procter & Gamble with a million different products and divisions, um, which I'm sure you're not. Um, then you only need one workspace for your entire firm or company, right? Next. And now we're going to customize the workspace's avatar. I'll spare you. You can figure out how to do all this. I'm happy so far. Favorite color theme. Let's go with whatever is closest to QuickBooks Green. There we go. Happy so far. How many people would be working with, right? So this you want to take the time to answer honestly, right? Let's just say it's two to five, okay? And I work in, I don't know, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? I don't know what to choose here. Let's just do other. Oh, I have to enter it. Uh, here, accounting. All right, and as a nerd, as a nerd, I'm a nerd in accounting. Do I manage other people? Sure. What am I trying to accomplish? Um, project management, let's just call it for now. Next, what's my experience level in using project management tools? I'll say I'm um, expert. How did I hear about you? From myself. I told myself. Um, originally, it was from colleagues, right? So word of mouth. That looked good. Invite people to my workspace. I don't want to yet, right? Customize how I work by enabling Click App. So this, I always mention, this is like the global setting for this stuff. Just Choose it all. Why not? It doesn't cost you any extra. And this way, if you have need it, you have it. If you don't, you don't need to worry. Do I use any of these apps? Sure. Slack, Zapier, uh, definitely not Teams, Zoom, um, blah, blah, blah. And Discord. I was trying to think of that the other day. All right. Do I want to import tasks? No. But obviously, as you can see, you can import tasks from some very popular project management apps. Great. Now I can go change the world. Awesome. Stand by, we're getting ClickUp ready for you. Okay, so this is how this looks, and you can watch these videos. ClickUp actually has great documentation, but I'm gonna sort of spare you that. Okay, and uh, let's see, this is how so much has changed since I started using this that I'm not even familiar with this. Let's just use project management and go away, please. And uh, no, not right now. Not right now, I ain't got time for that. Okay, so we have, as you can see, different sections here, okay? And there's different layouts. 
So if you've seen any videos that I've done on my own ClickUp account, you'll already recognize it. It looks a fair bit different. But let's start off with what I started off with in the write-up, and then we'll go back to the look and feel. So I want to have you create two spaces. They start you off with one. So let's right-click this and go to Space Settings, Space Name, and just call this My Firm. Okay. Task Statuses. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just leave it now. We can add statuses later on. Not important. Um, I think I lost my save my settings. Oh, I it didn't save it. Try that again. My firm. Review changes. Save changes. My firm. Great. I want to add a new space. You're going to call this my clients, right? So you can have one space for your firm to kind of manage things internally, okay? And you can have another space for your clients, okay? And we'll say next, okay? And again, we'll get into statuses and things like that later. Turn on all the click apps because, all right, that one I can't. That's fine. And next. And review it. Again, we'll get into all this stuff later on for now. I just want to show you how to get started, right? Just get started. There's lots and lots of little features and things that ClickUp can do that if you try and figure it all out at once, you're going to get instantly overwhelmed. So don't try to figure out all of it at once. Okay. Next, we want two different folders set up under each of these spaces, right? First of all, I kind of want my firm to be first, right? So let's click and drag. And now you're starting to see how nice and easy and flexible ClickUp is, right? So within my firm, we want, uh, let's see, two folders. Okay, so we'll rename this. And we're going to call this everything. Okay, and then I want another folder. And we're going to call it new folder, my CRM. Okay. And we'll get into this stuff later. For now, just get set up. Just get this set up. Now, in my clients, what I want you to do is take the first list here. And never mind the list, actually. We'll come back to that. I just want you to create a new folder for each client. I'm going to set up two clients here real quick. Client X. Okay. And then notice that at each different level, make sure you're clear on where you are. Notice client X is selected here, right? So each one of these has a plus sign. So if I'm at the folder level, the plus sign is going to be to create a list. If I'm at the space or a folder, um, ah, I can't talk. If I'm at the um, space level, the plus sign is going to invite me to create a new folder. Or I could do a new list directly there too. But the point is, I want to make sure I'm not creating a subfolder under client X or something like that, right? So this is going to be client Y. and create folder. Okay, that's what I want you to do at a minimum just to get started. And then of course you can start playing around and think about some things. So under client X, right, you can just call this, you know, client X tasks or something, right? In the past, I have suggested setting up different lists for different areas of the balance sheet. But what's happened over time is I found that I don't use that. I end up dumping everything into banking because most things are kind of driven through banking anyway. So I don't, I'm not really a fan necessarily of, you know, overcomplicating it by creating all these lists. It just gives you more places you have to put things. I would almost say that this first list would be maybe bookkeeping, right? And so all your bookkeeping tasks would go in here. And some people are going to say, well, what if I have different things to do for the bookkeeping? Some things are weekly, some things are monthly, some things are quarterly. You don't need to... Again, if you create too much infrastructure, you make it complicated, you end up adding stress instead of reducing it. So what you really want to do here is minimize stress. That's the point. And you don't need to be that detailed in how you segregate the levels because you have due dates and recurrences if you want to. So it's very easy to organize things according to whatever date cadence is necessary. I don't think it's necessary to have, because some people I've seen will have a list for like quarterly stuff and monthly stuff. It's like, no, don't do that. You're overcomplicating it. Keep it simple. We need one list here. 
for bookkeeping tasks, period. And then if you do taxes for the client, create another list for tax engagement related tasks because those are going to be very different, right? You might even have very different statuses for those. So get set up. Create your two spaces, my firm and my clients. Create a folder under my clients for each client that you have, or at least the ones that you want to get started with, managing things in ClickUp. That, my friends, is how to get started with ClickUp for accountants and bookkeepers. And hopefully if you caught this before we started the live series, you'll do this and you'll be ready for the live series because the live series is going to pick up kind of right here where we left off. The only other thing I promise that I'll show you is a little bit on the layout. So once you get this done... Here's what I do on the layout. First of all, dark sidebar. Okay, we're going to turn that on. And for layout size and style, I like modern and I like compact. These are my choices. As I often like to say, what keeps me sober might get you drunk. So you pick what works for you. But those are the two quick settings you want to tweak. So now you'll start to recognize that this is how my real click up area looks. So now you can get yours to look exactly like mine in case that's something that you wanted to do. So once again, get started with ClickUp for accountants and bookkeepers. Get as far as I've gotten here. Should take you no more than 10 minutes. And then you'll be ready to uh, to join with me live when we start the series, February 5th, 2021. If it's after that, if it's after the series, then after this lesson, you'll be ready to go right on to the next one, which will walk you through, you know, what originally is being sort of uh, framed as week one of a course in ClickUp.